It was a beautiful morning. The sun was up and so were the pups. Farah had a great dream about mountain climbing. Tanker had a fun dream about cloud hopping. And Dilly dreamt she was flipping pancakes on a campground. Smudge, on the other hand, didn't have a good dream at all. He dreamt that he ate too many ice cream cones and had a tummy ache. All night he tossed and turned in bed and all night he kept waking up. Smudge had a bad night. In the morning, Smudge was grumpy. He was so grumpy, he had trouble deciding what he wanted for breakfast. Later he built a huge building with the blocks and seemed much happier. Happier until Ferret knocked it down. It was an accident. And Ferris said sorry right away. She even tried to help Smudge put the blocks back where they came from. But Smudge didn't appreciate it. He told her she had ruined the whole thing. Ferris said sorry again and then walked away. Smudge was in a bad mood. A little while later, the pups were playing a game of go fish. And even though they had all played the game hundreds of times, Dilly liked to tell everybody the rules. Usually everybody listened, but this time Smudge told Dilly it was silly to keep telling them the rules when they already knew them. Dilly stopped talking and looked at Smudge. Smudge told her that he was smart and didn't need her to tell him how to play. Dilly did say she knew he was smart, but then Smudge said that he didn't want to play anymore. He threw his cards on the ground and stomped out. Dilly, Farrah, and Tanker all looked at each other. Smudge certainly wasn't behaving like Smudge. He was behaving like a grouch. At lunch, when it came time for dessert, Tanker wanted his first. He jumped in front of Smudge. That made Smudge so angry, he stamped his feet. He shook his head and shouted at Tanker. And Tanker was really surprised. After all, it was only dessert. Smudge was about to push Tanker when I looked in through the window, and Smudge stopped just in time. I asked him what was wrong, and he pointed at Tanker. He talked as though Tanker had done something awful. I noticed that under his eyes there were big black circles. I smiled at all the pups and asked how they slept. Everyone said that they had slept well, except for Smudge, who told me that he hadn't slept well at all. Immediately I understood. I told Smudge and the others that he was grouchy because he had not slept. Smudge yawned long and hard, and I explained that it's important. When you're tired and things are really bothering you, to say so out loud. Your friends and family will understand. That way they can be careful not to upset you. Smudge smiled. He thanked me and quickly curled up for a snooze and finally Smudge would feel better. The alarm rang and Smudge stood up straight and was ready for action. In the tuning of my siren, we were off. The circus was back in town, and the owner had a problem. One of the elephants was too impatient to wait while another went through the entrance to the big top. He raced forward and pushed his way in. Now, two elephants were wedged in the entranceway, and the owner was very upset. The pups thought long and hard on how to rescue the elephants. Finally, Dilly came up with a great idea. I could use my pulley to pull the second elephant back, and the pups could use their strength to pull the first elephant through. To do this, 
The pups attached my pulley to a rope around the second elephant. After that, they climbed under the tent and attached a rope around the first elephant. On the count of three, we pulled backward and forward at the same time. There was a creak and a grunt, and then all of a sudden, the first elephant staggered into the big top tent. And the other slipped out and back into his place outside. The elephants were free. The whole audience cheered. The circus owner was very relieved, and so I might add, were the two elephants. The owner wanted to show that he really appreciated what we had done, so he invited the pups to ride up on the top of the elephants for the grand parade, and me to travel behind them. The audience went wild when they saw us, and all the pups waved and had a lot of fun. Well, almost all. The smooth rocking of the elephant put Smudge to sleep, and this time, as he slept, he had sweet dreams of cotton candy and circus animals. The elephant that had been in a hurry to get into the tent walked behind the first as he was supposed to, and he was happy to be there rather than stuck in the entrance. The bad day for Smudge and the elephant turned out well after all. If you ever have a bad day, I hope you'll remember to tell people so they can help make your day better. After all, everybody likes you best when you're your happy self. I know, I do. Here's some things that are fun to do: fun for the friends who play with you, fun for a bunch, or just for two. Fun for me and fun for you. Like searching for amazing things in the clouds. You might see an elephant, a pirate ship, or a puffy castle. If you see a big dark blob and some raindrops, it would be time to search for an umbrella. 